Hi, Kara Sheftel here with Boston Document Systems. Today I wanted to talk to you about the continuous scan function on your copier. Right now I'm working off of a Kyocera Task Alpha 4 series device. However, this is the same information on a 3 series or before. I'll show you how that information is organized. What you're going to do is hit your send button and it will pull up all of your options. And under quick setup, you'll be able to see the continuous scan function. Why you would want to use the continuous scan function is if you have a document feeder that doesn't hold enough pages and your document is too big. All you have to do is separate it into a couple of different stacks and then you can scan as normal. So I've turned continuous scan on and now I'm going to select my destination in my address book. Here we go. And then all I need to do is hit start. These tabs that you see on the left hand side for three series devices and before are the same options. They're just under across the bottom. Same information is contained in them on the four series device or on the left hand side for three series and before it's on the bottom. So I've turned on my continuous scan. I'm going to hit start. It's going to pull any pages that were in the document feeder through the device and now it's going to prompt. It's going to say place more originals and scan next or finish your scan. And for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to add some more documents to the doc feeder and I'm going to hit scan next. It's pulling in those remaining pages and you can see that the scanned pages amount has gone up. And now the last thing I want to do because I'm all done is hit finish scan. If I wanted, I could keep adding more and adding more until uh, until I was finished, but in this case, I'm going to say finish scan. The machine is going to put all of the pages together and deliver it to me as a singular PDF. This is really important as well if you have to manually load documents for one reason or another. Maybe they can't go through your document feeder because they're damaged. You can load them onto your platen glass. Hit, hit that continuous scan button and start and keep switching out pages and it will put all of those damaged documents together in one PDF without destroying your documents through the doc feeder. For more tips and tricks with your Kyocera devices, you can follow and like our channel. I'm Kara Sheftel and I hope you have a great day.